So, g'day fellow coin collectors, this is Glenn, back with another one rupee from India. And have a look at a beautiful specimen it is. It does have some problems, but that is because of uh, minting, and we're cool talking about here. So, that might lead some people to think that it's actually a fake coin, but it's actually quite real. Um... They do have some problems with these rupee coins, just like they have with every other denomination out there. So, that will be some type of uh, rim error. So, but it's not that important. What's important is that this coin is actually a low mint coin. Um, I actually didn't purchase this coin, I actually purchased another rupee coin, but uh <clears throat> So, they actually send it to someone else by mistake, which yeah, I've done that myself And some other people have done it to me, but that's no biggie As long as they make up for it or give a refund, that's fine So this is a one rupee uh, It was introduced probably about 500 years ago as a silver coin under the Delhi Sultans and then the Mughals actually adopted it as their main currency um, which basically spread it around all of India but I just quite like this coin because it's actually a large coin it's 11.66 uh, grams and underneath I have a half crown so the half crown actually is 14.14 grams so this is uh, actually a bit smaller I I think the rupee is worth um, two and fourpence, so instead of two and sixpence, uh, that that that's just from memory. I if, if I am wrong, please leave a comment down below, cause yeah, I'm wrong quite often. But this is actually in 1862 to. 1873, no, 1876, um, then they actually changed the design a bit in 1877, and that is part of this issue, and what was actually changed in that design was actually not that much of a detail, uh, mainly the, the size, it was just decreased by 0.1 of a millimetre, so this is 30.79, and the previous one was 30.78. Uh, there's probably a variation in there, but it's actually a bit bigger than the coins that were issued later, which were only 30.6 millimeters. And then they were reduced even further, but because it's only a point, it's actually a bit harder to tell. So, the curious thing about this coin dated 1881 is that it there was only uh, 2,435,719 coins minted. So this is actually quite a low minted rupee coin. And it was minted at the Calcutta Mint, so you can tell. Uh, let's zoom in. hope it doesn't. So you can tell there is a C down there. That means Calcutta. And you either can get a mint mark down here, or you can get a mint mark up here. So that's basically where you can tell the actual mint mark. And then you got a lot of uh, flowers around there. So they are actually what I believe to be a flower. I have no idea what it is. So as you can see, these are readed. They're all readed coins. It's a uh, metal alignment. So it's the same as the British coins now and the older coins from... Uh, Australia and if you look on this side there's actually some damage on the actual coins so we've got some damage here which is a pity some uh, staining there but if you look at this part here this one has um, four sections so one two three four and you can Get another variety which only has three, one, two, three, or three and a half. So this will be 
pretty much more cut off up there. And that is a type one. And also there is a variation in uh, the bus type A, I mean. And this side has type one in which this design up here is uh, pretty solid and it actually stands out. A lot of the thinner or fatter designs gives it a different uh, type. And if, when I actually get a few other one rupee coins, I'll make a video showing how you can tell the differences between them. But what are the prices of one rupee coins? Well, for a coin of this year, you're probably looking up upwards of about a hundred dollars. But just for a, a larger mint, so like 50 or 100 million coins, and yes, they actually did issue coins at that amount, uh, you're probably looking at about $20 per coin. Uh, I probably wouldn't find any coins less than that, but, you know, you never get lucky. I actually buy these off eBay, so, yeah, if you... Once it authenticated, then you need to send it into one of the coin grading. So, some of you are probably still saying, yeah, this is fake. Yeah. Well, it could be. But I think it's actually real. And it's just based on my experience anyway. So, I hope you enjoyed this coin. If you like Indian rupee coins, please leave a comment down below. And, uh, yeah, have fun. Oh, another thing I forgot. Ah, uh, the effigy on this coin, which was designed by William Wire, it's actually different than the effigy that was used on the United Kingdom coins. So here is a 1888 a half crown. And as you can see, the effigy is different. Uh, they actually didn't change the effigy on the Indian coins uh, like they did in the UK. They've got three or four different effigies in the coin. And this is the last effigy, the veiled type that they actually issued in the United Kingdom. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment down below. Give this a like. Subscribe to my channel and have awesome coin collecting time. Thank you and bye bye.